Welcome to Rome, where on my way into the actual city I find a temple thing and ruins. Check it out, this park is just chock full of ruins. You got that one, that one, that one, and then over there. That one's gonna be interesting. Can you guess what it is yet? How about now? You guessed it. It's the Colosseum. I would love to go inside. I know the historical significance of this place. I know it's crazy awesome, but I can't. Here's why. Even if you have a reservation, it takes an hour and a half to get in because of security. If you don't, it's hours upon hours. So, I have one day here. Not worth my time, but like, Colosseum. You can see so much cool stuff here. This is the Arco Constantino, I think. It's the Colosseum. Over there is the Santa Maria Basilica. And then there's just ruins in the hillside. I love this. I'm breaking one of my rules of one day travel because I really want to see the Roman Forum. This ticket also gets me into the Colosseum, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to wait for those like three or four hours. It's like an airport. I'm standing inside. I'm standing inside of a ruin right now. That's just too cool. This is one of the oldest parts of the city and it's actually where Romulus was built, which was sort of the predecessor city to Rome. So because I'm in Rome, I'm gonna attempt to summarize the entire history of Rome in about 30 seconds. Skip ahead to here if you don't wanna hear that. Otherwise, we go. Rome was the first of the great Mediterranean empires. It lasted as a republic for about 500 years and at its height, it covered over a million square miles of territory. After that, it was, they appointed a dictator, Julius Caesar, who later named himself dictator for life until he was assassinated, and then Octavian took over. He gained the title of Augustus, which made him essentially a dictator as well, until he lost power and Rome was split up into a tetrarchy where it got split up into east and west sides. Now that caused more civil war, so then eventually Constantine, the ruler from the east side, managed to reunite Rome. However, unfortunately, that didn't last for long either. Rome got split up and became more of a military state, and it fell. That's, that's not bad. Ooh, also, this is, this is cool. At the height of its empire, it was over a million square miles. A million. How crazy is that? I just thought it'd be cool to talk about that inside the Roman Forum, where so many government buildings were. The Pantheon. What? So this was once a temple, but now it's actually an operational church. I knew the Pantheon would be cool, but I did not expect that. That was breathtaking. I think I started to get heat stroke. I don't have anything else to say. I think I've heat stroke. Anyway, um, very hot. Had to sit down. Here's a click. Here's a quick montage. Stuff around the city. 
Yeah. Three, two, one. Okay. You may realize that I only have one full day to do all of Rome. I have a theory that if I arrive late enough to the Vatican, I'm gonna be able to get into the museums and the Sistine Chapel and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna slowly make my way over there now. So, I'm gonna ride the bus without a bus ticket. I waited for one bus and then I waited for another bus and neither came, so I'm walking. Holy crap. Oh, I'm sorry, let me step out of the way of the largest church in the world for a second. This is St. Peter's Basilica. Yeah, this is incredible, so already worth it even if I don't get in. But I really hope I can. Hopefully I have better luck than I did in Florence. Check this out. Holy shit, my, my strategy worked. I get to see the Sistine Chapel. Yes. One of two things could have happened there. One, I wouldn't have gotten in, maybe there was too long of a line. In which case, the museum's entrance closes at four. So it wouldn't have any huge loss of time. But if you do get in, the entrance closes at four, but it actually closes at six. So I'm gonna have time. Of course, the Sistine Chapel isn't the only thing here. There's also other museums like an ancient Egyptian one. some more random ruins in the middle of the city, but also these ruins have cats. I'm gonna do a bit of a sunset tour of some of the higher points in the city. This is one of the seven hills. Also gonna be going to the Trevi Fountain and the Spanish Steps.
it is finally time for a classic Italian dinner. I know I didn't get pasta, but they had chicken masala, and that is one of my favorite dishes. So I had to get that. It was fantastic. Also, way too nice of a place to vlog in, which is why I'm saying this now. Hi! 